friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday, so it's another meal prep. I have three amazing recipes for you. A breakfast casserole, an Asian inspired lunch and double chocolate, not just chocolate, but double chocolate brownies. So if you're excited for today's recipes, give this video a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know what types of videos to keep putting out for you guys. And of course, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you click the little subscribe button. And of course, ring the bell next to it. So you don't miss a single video. It is meal prep day every Monday. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out that description box down below where you're going to find my newly released meal planner. We are just about sold out. So if you're interested, head on over to my website and get one while you can. They're a game changer. It is so nice to be able to plan your meals, detach the grocery list, take it to the store, stay on budget, stay on track. So highly, highly recommend. You'll also find my nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation essential. If you are on a weight loss journey, you need to know your calories and your macros to stay in a deficit and lose weight, whether you're on WW or not. So definitely take advantage of that service. And if you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help, I do have one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. You'll also find links and discount codes to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my favorite things down in that description box. Last but not least, my Facebook group is another great community that would absolutely love to have you. So head on over and join us. So we have three recipes to make, so let's get started. breakfast this week I'm making an overnight breakfast casserole but we're going to put this together first thing this morning and throw it in the refrigerator while we put together the rest of our meal prep so let me show you what's going to be in our casserole so first you'll need some light shredded cheese center cut bacon. The recipe actually calls for dry mustard. I don't have any, so I'm going to substitute this vegan chickenless seasoning. This is really good and I think it's going to pair really well with this casserole. You'll need some light bread, one to two smart points per slice, eggs, skim milk, and some salt and pepper. So let's put together the casserole. First thing I'm going to do is take six slices of this center cut bacon. I just put it here on a paper plate with some paper towels. I'll toss this in the microwave. That's the fastest way to cook just a small amount of bacon. We'll get it nice and crispy. So we're going to cube up our bread. I have nine slices of the light bread. So I'm just going to cut this into somewhat small cubes, about a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch. So about like that. We're going to go ahead and cut all the bread up and set that aside. I have a 9 by 13 pan. I went ahead and sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. We're going to take the bread and just spread it along the bottom of the baking dish. Make sure that it's nice and even and fills in all the corners. Now we're taking three ounces of light cheese, which I weighed out on my food scale, and just sprinkle that across the bread. Into about a medium sized bowl, we're going to crack eight eggs. I just have to show you the color difference in these eggs. So these dark orange ones are the happy eggs. These lighter yolks are the ones I got from Imperfect Foods. You know you have a good quality egg when it's dark orange. So I just wanted to show you guys that that was pretty interesting. Into our eggs, we're going to add three and a half cups of skim milk. And then we're also going to add our salt, pepper, and then the mustard if you have it, or in my case, or the vegan chickenless seasoning. And then we're going to whisk that up until fully incorporated. Now we're going to pour the egg mixture right over the top of the bread and the cheese as even as you can. 
And now we're going to add the bacon, kind of crumble it up as you go right over the top. So here is the overnight casserole. I'm going to put some saran wrap on this, throw this in the fridge, and we're going to let it sit for several hours while we put together the rest of meal prep. Many hours later. I'm going to be getting the breakfast casserole into the oven. You can see the bread is soaked up most of the egg mixture, which is exactly what we wanted. So this is going in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes. You just want to make absolutely sure that there is no liquid left. Breakfast casseroles out of the oven. This looks so good. It smells amazing. I'm pretty excited for this for the week. And this whole pan only makes eight servings, which is a big serving for breakfast. Again, pair this with some added protein or some fruit. So let's go over the points. So on the green plan, one eighth of this casserole is six smart points because you do have to account for eggs, but it is only four points on both the blue and purple plan. I'm pretty excited about this. The original recipe comes from Emily Bites and the recipe how I made it of course will be on my website which is linked down in the description box but this is breakfast for the week. For my lunches this week I'm making Asian turkey burgers. You can have these with a bun or without a bun. I'll probably pair this with some sort of a fruit or a sweet treat. So let's take a look at what's in the burgers. You're going to need one pound of 99% fat free ground turkey, a red onion, some scallions or green onions. If you want to use a bun, I always use these three point buns from Great Value. They're really good and they're only three smart points. Salt and pepper fresh or dried cilantro, whatever your preference is. The recipe called for hoisin sauce, and as you saw in my grocery haul, I opted to buy this mandarin orange sauce because hoisin sauce was ridiculously expensive at Target. So I'm gonna substitute that, and it's literally like a tablespoon. So no big deal with the substitution. Rice vinegar, ginger, you could do fresh or this grated tubed ginger. You'll need some English cucumber. I'm gonna use up what's already cut up before it goes bad. You'll also need some minced garlic, some sort of binder. The recipe calls for bulgur wheat, but I'm going to substitute breadcrumbs. It's just the binding agent. Some oil, monk fruit sweetener or sweetener of your choice. I use the Lakanto monk fruit granular version. I will link this down below with 20% off on Lakanto's website for you so you can pick up all your favorite sweeteners and some non-fat Greek yogurt. So let's get started on our burgers. We're going to get the cucumbers and onions kind of marinating and pickling a little bit. So I'm going to add one quarter cup of rice wine vinegar to a fairly small bowl. One teaspoon of the sweetener of your choice. Again, I'm using the monk fruit sweetener. We're going to put in a pretty heavy hand of salt and a heavy hand of pepper. Go ahead and whisk that together until the sugar is dissolved. Now we're going to add that vinegar mixture to the cucumbers and then we're also going to pop in the red onions and I'm just going to give that just a quick toss here with my fingers make sure everything gets nice and coated I'll pop the lid back on this bowl and we'll throw this into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or so while we put together the rest of the burgers that way this has a chance to get nice and flavorful in a bowl we're going to add our pound of the 99% ground turkey we're going to put in one quarter cup of the breadcrumbs some cilantro I'm just going to kind of eyeball about a teaspoon or so of dried cilantro, our scallions or green onions. So I thought this was ginger. It is not. It is garlic. So we are going to go ahead and just use this in place of the minced garlic. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that. And then you can see here that I just went ahead and added just some dried ground ginger to the mix. And then lastly, the couple of tablespoons of hoisin, or in my case, the mandarin orange sauce. And then we're going to mix this all together. I sprayed a nonstick skillet with some nonstick cooking spray, and then we are just going to divide our turkey meat into four equal sized patties and put those here in the skillet. All right, our burgers are in the skillet. I'm going to drizzle about a teaspoon of oil over the top, and then when we flip them, we'll add another teaspoon of oil. That'll get them nice and crispy.
In the little bowl here, I have that quarter cup of nonfat Greek yogurt. I added a pinch of salt and pepper and a little bit of lemon juice, and I'm going to mix this together. This is going to be one of the toppings for the burgers. The Asian burgers are done. I just went ahead and put them into this storage container for the week. And then my cucumbers and onions are looking and smelling delicious. Here's that quick Greek yogurt sauce and then my buns for the week. So let's go over the points of the burger. So without the bun, and this includes the burger, the pickled, cucumbers and red onions and the Greek yogurt sauce. It is one smart point per burger without a bun on blue and purple and three points on the green just because you do have to count for the ground turkey. And then again, these buns are three smart points so it would only be four points for the burger with the bun for me on the blue plan. So I'm excited for this. Again, I'll pair this with some fruit, maybe some chips. We'll just kind of have to see what I feel like all week but there are your Asian turkey burgers. This week we're making a light cravings recipe, a skinny double chocolate brownie. I always love the word double chocolate in a recipe. We're going to need baking soda, medjool dates, unsweetened applesauce, salt, vanilla extract, and one large egg, cocoa powder, all-purpose flour, chocolate chips. These are just the Lily's chocolate chips and some light butter. I went ahead and removed the pit from my dates. My dates actually still have the pit in them. This is nine of the Medjool dates. I have some hot, hot water here. I'm just going to pour that over the dates until they're underwater. And we're just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. That'll really soften up the dates. I went ahead and drained the water out of the dates after about 10 minutes or so. I did reserve one tablespoon of the hot water. So to a food processor or a blender, go ahead and add your dates and your one tablespoon of hot water. And we're going to pulse this until it becomes a paste. Once you have a date paste, we are going to add in one quarter cup of the unsweetened applesauce, four tablespoons of light butter. I just went ahead and weighed that out on my food scale. We're also going to add in one large egg and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just going to use the last little bit in my container here of vanilla bean paste. And now we're going to pulse until mixed. Now we're going to add in our flour, one third cup of a good quality cocoa powder. Mine is the one from Trader Joe's. We're going to add in a pinch of salt and half of a teaspoon of baking soda. Put the lid back on and pulse that for another couple minutes. So I went ahead and removed my brownie batter from the blender. I am going to add in one quarter cup of Lily's chocolate chips. Now you can add those in and pulse them again to break them up a little bit more, but I'm just going to add them in in whole form. Gently fold those in and then we're ready to get this into the baking dish. I'm going to add my batter to my prepared nine by nine baking dish. This is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how fudgy you want your brownies. So we're going into the oven 20 minutes for extra, extra fudgy, 25 minutes for a slightly underbaked brownie brownies are out of the oven. I put mine in for about 21 minutes. I do want them a little bit more fudgy. So I'm going to let these cool completely and then I'll be back to show you the serving size, show you what they look like and give you points and calories. These are so ooey gooey and fudgy. I went ahead and cut them into 12 servings. The recipe makes 12 brownies. I'm going to pop one out, put it on the plate so I can show you the size. So there is the brownie. So that's the size of it. I mean, that's on a small dessert plate. So not a bad size at all. And again, the recipe makes 12 servings. In the original recipe, she actually uses regular chocolate chips, just a vegan chocolate chip. Since I use Lily's, it actually drops the points of our brownies by one, which we're not gonna complain about saving a point on a brownie. So one twelfth or one brownie is three smart points on blue and purple and four points on the green plan. Now, if you eliminated the egg and used an egg substitute, you could make them three points per brownie on the green plan as well. So whatever your preference is, but this is dessert for the week and I couldn't be happier with the fudgy brownie. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope that you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to dig into these all week long. 
Those brownies are incredible. They taste like ooey gooey high calorie high point brownies from your local bakery and the only added sugar are those dates which is a natural sweetener so definitely definitely make those along with the turkey burgers and the breakfast casserole all of the recipes are on my recipe website which is linked down in the description box along with the meal planner nutrition coaching and my facebook group and links and discounts to all of my favorite things don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and last but not least if you're new or you're not subscribed yet to my channel go ahead and head on over hit the little subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you don't miss any video uploads thank you guys so much for watching happy monday and i'll see you next time bye